Hello everyone and welcome to number nine farms. Today we are going to be using the last of that hamburger meat um, the, from the 10 pound. I think it was Saturday or I mean Sunday or Monday. And today is Thursday, day 18. Um, so the first thing we're gonna do is have this breakfast with some of the leftovers and a couple eggs, which are done. <laughs> and then I've got in the crock pot that I had had out on the porch because of course it was like negative two negative three last night um i'm warming back up the soup for lunch and that'll probably be gone today before dinner all right i just wanted to give you an update on the um pork belly just how it's doing inside the um bags and how you can see how it's created its own juices and every day um i just come in and flip everything and you know move it around this one here is still got a lot of little sugar right there i just haven't got a lot of juices it's, and look at that beautiful yeah you can't wait to smoke it so i guess today it was on the 14th so the 20th we should be able to do some smoking okay guys i just wanted to give you a little update the honey is still doing its thing how, but it, it is a lot slower this way, but it is working. Wanted to give you an update on the shelf and you can see how it's doing. Um, and you can see how that shelf and all that stuff is piled up on the other shelves. That's why I haven't been able to get back to all the goodies. Um, but I'm gonna work on it today just to get this stuff for uh, the chili. <laughs> I'm gonna do my best stretching through here so you could get the tomatoes because they were right there but not much other stuff and the peppers and some of the um beans are right here too so that's good okay guys so what we decided on was we had that little bit of hamburger left over from that whole 10 pound tube um and bruce wanted to make spaghetti and i was like spaghetti, <laughs> <I like> spaghetti. <laughs> who doesn't right um so i said well let's make some chili because we could carry some of this down to colby because colby loves chili too and so does dusty so i brought up um bruce moved the shelf so i could get to everything muffin you oh, we've got um kidney beans black beans because dusty likes black beans and chickpeas and the chili and some um canelli's and tomato puree these are all home canned tom tomato paste and a jar of tomatoes so i'm going to go ahead and put those in and i, di I didn't want to make a big batch like normal in my last video i made a huge batch um or not my last video but a about a week or two back i don't know how long it's been a month <laughs> um yes and the babies are all doing good i got pictures and updates this morning um everybody's doing well colby's the only one bored <laughs> doing his house sitting so all right well, i'm gonna get all these um poured into here and um i'll bring you back wanted to remember to tell oh, golly this is tough i had the chili base too so i'm gonna get that and put in there so there i brought up the large jar of chili base and that's about all the space i have too I'm going to add in some freeze-dried peppers, jalapenos, and onions. And some of the chili seasoning powder, and I do have a video for that too. Just wanted to give you a little update. I made some cornbread, and Colby called, and, and he said, what are you doing? I said, I'm making you some cornbread. He said, did you make some chili? Just wanted to show you the cornbread is out, and now I'll take one of these to Colby. Just got to Cody's house and delivered the um, food for Colby. And what have you got? Doritos and oh, some of your root beer. Oh, good. You guys might want to see the baby's nursery. Look at all the little pictures and how beautiful it looks. And the windows Cody put in. And the little rug. Isn't it beautiful? Oh my gosh, and this is the blanket I made Cody 
when he was a baby. And uh, I took and put his name on it. Oh my goodness. I, I took and boxed a whole bunch of stuff up that was theirs when they were little. Each one of the kids because I had a bunch of stuff for them. And uh, let me see if I can find it. I wrote his name and things on it. But it's so cute. I don't know what happened to it. Maybe, maybe I didn't do it. I could have swore I did. You know, I only had nine, so it was, <laughs> I might not have done it on his. But these are the little blankets um, that I got um, for them. And I made those together and did the little knots. Um, and then I'll show you the ones downstairs too that I did. Um, but I just love it. All the, and then I, I got her this at the farmer's market. And then her mom made her this one. And the cute stuff look. And then I love the book. Um, and look at all the little clothes. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I haven't seen these. Look at those. A little ponchos. I love these too. Look. And um, they're set for some diapers. And all that. But I had to show you guys. I hope they don't get mad at me. I better ask before. Um, but all the little book, um, books. And let's see. I want to show you this other picture too. I just love it. All right, so let's go down and see the other blankets. I still want to see this thing on Cody's blanket, but let me look. Okay, I found it. I put it in the middle. These are the blankets here that I did. And um, so they, they have um, Kevin and then Ralphie. So these are her, the two dogs they have. So I, I knew uh, Amelia would love that little blanket. So when I found that at Joanne's, I made this into two little blankets for him. Hi, Ralphie. Where, where's Kevin? Is Kevin outside? Let's go see Kevin. You want to play ball? Huh? Okay, buddy. Here. Look, give it to Grandma. Yeah. Okay. Good boy. All right. You ready? All right. It's tough stuff. Whoa. Yes. <laughs> you still got it, Bruce. <laughs> Colby's excited about that chili. It was worth the drive. Oh, yeah. All right, so it took about 35, 40 minutes to get back home. Now we're home and we can finally eat the chili. Yes, we've all, uh, dude, it's all we, so long. Which we all we talked about was we can't give it a hook to get home with the I chili. Know. It was like worst thing we ever. Bruce got some of that cornbread. Oh, yes, I did. Well, guys, we've come to the end of day 18, and I want to tell a little shout out to Teresa, who has um, been telling me everything she does, and it's given me inspiration and um, ideas. And you see this morning, um, we had those eggs with some uh, leftovers. <laughs> yeah, that was delicious. <laughs> so it kept us full all day. We actually didn't end up eating any of the soup, which we thought we would. But we ended up, keep, we kept on working through the day. And uh, then, you know. But anyways, I just wanted to tell you thank you for watching. And um, I can't wait to hear some of your um things for the tomorrow for today <laughs>